Hey, Terry, listen. You gotta go home, so you gotta tell us where you live. I won't go home. Uh, may, may I say something? <clears throat> when I was a boy, <clears throat> <laughs> I ran away from home once. It was an important experience for me. For somebody had called the police and taken me home right away, who knows? I might never have turned out to be the man I am today. Yeah, you see that, kid? Tell us your name before your brain sprouts fungus. We'll take care of him, Louie. He belongs to our species. Now, okay. Now, Terry, think about your mother. She must be worried sick. You know, I have a little son, and if he ever ran away, <laughs> it would kill me. You know what he does when he gets upset with me? He just stops talking to me. He just won't say a word, you know? And don't you think that's a lot better than running away and making me worry? I hate it when they do that. <laughs> Listen, kid, uh... Elaine's got a point there about how worried your parents must be over in, uh, where did you say they lived? <laughs> Come on, kid, now talk, or we're gonna have to start tickling it out of you. Nice try, Alex. <clears throat> you know, he reminds me more and more of myself. <laughs> He's not going back, and neither am I. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Just call me Jim. Pat! Hey, where's the kid? Oh. Oh, good. We got a bright one. All right, hey, don't worry, Terry. This guy's just here to help you. Don't worry. All right, come on. Here, here. This is the little crook who owes me $13. And it's your job to get it out of them any way you can. You prod me one more time, I'm gonna show you eight places you can beat a man and leave no marks. Ah, <laughs> uh, so what? So what? So you're big. So you're black. So you got a badge. So you got a gun. I'm a dead man. <laughs>